My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a genuine R-Code 428 Cobra Jet Ram Air 1969 Mach 1. It's done up as a retro rod. It's got custom suspension and brakes and uh, upgraded air conditioning system, a five-speed transmission. This thing is awesome out on the road. And these two big heavy binders that I'm holding here, it's all the documentation for all the work that's been done to it. Look at all that good information that'll come with the car. You can also go to volocars.com uh, to read information about the car and to study the pictures top to bottom. That's also where you will find the price tag on every one of the cars we have for sale along with a monthly uh, finance payment as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, buckle up, let's go for a spin. Yep, there's a letter R in the VIN number that indicates it's a 428 Cobra Jet Ram Air. You see the shaker hood sticking out of the uh, hood there. Um, and this car here has been, they said, retro rotted. Uh, Pro Touring uh, treatment was given to it. Uh, complete upgraded suspension. It's lowered. Up front, it has magnum control arms, uh, adjustable gas shocks, a heavy... Uh, heavier sway bar uh, in back and neoprene bushings front and back. Uh, in back it has custom springs, racing type shackles, uh, heavier sway bar, uh, coney shocks. And in the middle it doesn't just have frame connectors, it has like a whole cross brace tubular uh, midsection there. It keeps the car from twisting. Up front it also has a rack and pinion steering with a race uh, type steering box for real nice tight handling, uh, responsive handling. Custom brakes, they're bare brakes, the drilled and slotted rotors. I think they're 13 and a half inch in front, uh, 12 in back. Uh, E-brake assembly is hooked up. It is a sniper fuel injection system, so it has a new fuel system. The tank, the sending unit, fuel lines have all been replaced. Uh, when you look up at the motor, it's an extra capacity uh, anodized oil pan. Uh, the starter's new. It's been upgraded with a Tremec five-speed trans, so all the related parts, the shift linkage, the clutch, all that's been replaced. Uh, it has uh, newer drive shafts been put in. It has a Ford nine-inch rear end with 3.50 uh, traction lock gears in the back. Uh, great sound and exhaust, has a cross pipe in the middle, uh, Flowmaster mufflers, and stainless quad tips coming out the back. The floors have been restored, so it's all solid underneath the car. Uh, so yeah, kind of not a lot of nice improvements under the car. Now let's look at the body. It shows really well. Um, the Fastback, just recently we've got a couple of Mustang Fastbacks. I haven't had one in I don't know how long, and now we get a few of them. But as I said in the other videos, one of my favorite body styles. They just got the lines so nice on this car. Well, let's just see how good it is. Uh, all the metal, the body I'm looking at, all fits nice. It's straight, no issues. This is all nice and straight. The roof, the quarter panel, all this is real straight. Door sticks out just a hair. That can be pulled in, I'm sure. But smooth, no bubbles. This is all real nice. There's a little chip in the paint here. We'll talk about the paint in a minute, but the body itself is looking good. There's a small hairline. I mean, you don't even barely feel it. A small hairline crack right there. Uh, this all fits nicely. Sticks up a little bit right there. Yeah, body is real nice, clean, straight. It's an older paint job. It's been on here a while. It's holding up really well. Yeah, doors are nice and straight. I don't see any bubbles or issues. Now, the paint, as I was just looking at, I think this is called Indian Fire or something like that. It's a pretty rare color. I've not even seen it before. 
and the metal flake is laid out nice and it's polished very smooth and glossy. Uh, but there are a few nicks. Here's a couple of nicks on the edge of the door. A little nick up here on the edge of the fender. So a few little flaws, but overall, really nice paint. Little tiny nicks behind the tires. And then it has the reflective striping. Uh, on the tail panel here, all the chrome is sparkling, the bumper, gas cap, emblems as a spoiler, original glass, and like typical, they have light scratches. The trim is good. Uh, a couple, a few dimples, especially right here. Someone must have tapped it with a hammer putting it on. Yeah, the stripes on the side are reflective as well. These have been replaced. This chrome has been replaced. Handles look new as the racing mirrors. A few dents on this trim, too. That trim is so expensive. I mean, in a Mustang catalog, I bet front and back window trim under 50 bucks. Uh, windshield is crystal clear. Actual shaker hood. Hood pins as the blacked out hood treatment. There is a touch up right here on the edge of the fender. These are Shelby style wheels from like a 68 Shelby. They're the 10 spoke wheels, but they're a newer version. They're bigger. Uh, they're wrapped in G-Force sport tires. Yeah, the wheels are 16 inch. Up front, the bumper is real shiny. The grill looks real nice. This trim has been replaced. Got the correct antenna that's been replaced. So yeah, everything looks really sharp on the outside. I'd pull that one door in, I forget which one it was, and I'd do a little touch up on some of the nicks. You got a really slick exterior. Now let's open it up and see what the interior looks like. So let's check out the trunk. It comes with a bag full of $100 bills. Uh, it also comes with a red top Optima battery, with, all bolted down nicely, you know, relocated to the trunk, obviously. Uh, this rear hatch actually opens up. Uh, if it's a fold down back seat, that also opens up. So you can uh, haul your two by fours. Uh, manual, a new radio bezel. And someone has actually taken the time to put a wood platform in here. Typically, it's just the top of the gas tank is your trunk floor in a Mustang. So they made it nice and flat. Um, so I guess it's usable, practical. Uh, under the trunk lid, the jams painted nicely. The rubber weather strip is soft. And I was looking at this. I believe this is a, maybe a vent for the fuel or something because there's a hose running up to it and a little screen in there. So I'm guessing that's a vent something to do with the fuel injection uh, fuel system, I'm, I'm guessing. So the door jams are painted nice, weather strips were replaced. It's a deluxe interior in a Mach 1, so it has the molded door panels. That door panel looks new to me. There's a speakers built into the bottom. dash pad, real nice shape. The instruments, uh, let's see if I can turn them. I got LED lights in here. Let me turn the key on. They are modern gauges. They look really cool. Tachometer. GT cushion grip wheel. That's why there's a radio bezel in the trunk. We've got the bezel. There's actually a retro radio that comes with it as well. This is the uh, gauge that comes with the fuel in, uh, injection. Gives you all sorts of information. Center console's in real nice shape. Uh, it is the Tremec uh, five-speed shifter. Uh, air conditioning vents were installed in each corner and right up here in the middle. So all this is in very nice shape. You just need to install the radio that will come with the car. There is a shop nearby us that does stereos that can be negotiated with your salesman. Uh, it's got these nice uh, racing seats, pro car seats with the Simpson belts, because this thing will really corner 
and that'll hold you in place. Uh, now in back, this is the fold down back seat and uh, everything looks to be in real good shape. Let me see if I can crawl in here and fold this down. I need another set of hands, I guess. There we go. Now you know why it's called the fold down back seat. And that lid opens up. That's what I was showing you from in the trunk. Uh, the lights are working. All the plastic's in good shape. A couple little scratches and marks, but nothing's beat up or broken. Carpets are in real nice shape, has the red sewn in mats. So that is a, a 428 Cobra Jet motor, it's been completely rebuilt. I'm going to pull up my phone here real quick with the specs. Okay, it is, it's got a stroker kit uh, with scat rods, uh, diamond forged pistons, diamond rings, competition solid roller cam, uh, roller lifters, custom push rods, adjustable roller tips, uh, blue thunder aluminum 427 heads, with matching aluminum 427 intake, uh, sniper fuel injection system, Holly sniper ignition system and wires and distributor. Uh, it has classic auto air, air conditioning systems new. Uh, runs cool with an Edelbrock aluminum water pump, aluminum radiator, shroud, flex fan. Has a custom support bar across here. Uh, we've got a hydraulic clutch. Uh, we've got power steering down here, custom power steering. This is the reservoir, braided stainless hoses. So it's got a lot going on. This is a driver type car. It's uh, definitely in very nice condition. This is a car you're going to want to get up, get up on a Sunday morning before there's much traffic and you're going to look for a windy road. Is a lot to offer. I feel I was a little sloppy with my presentation because there's just so much uh, to remember. But bottom line, this is a real R code 428 Shaker Hood car. Uh, check out the prices on what those have been bringing. That's what this one is. And it's upgraded real nicely. Five speed, posi, custom suspension, custom brakes, custom cooling system, fuel injected, uh, modern air conditioning system. It's got a lot going for it car shows beautifully. Um, you can tweak a couple little things and make it present itself even a little better if you wanted to. It's great just the way it is and really go hop in and drive this car. The minute it rolls off the trailer into your driveway, go for a ride. That's what it's all about. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com. Talk to the salesman. They can help answer your questions. They can help get this delivered to your driveway. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. Hope you're enjoying the video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.